the Sony a7 II. Probably the best camera when it comes to price performance. This is the reason why I've been using this camera for over three years from now on. I did the upgrade just after three months of owning the A6000, which was my first camera. It was pretty clear to me that I would stick to the creative path and therefore I wanted to have that full frame sensor, the bigger body for the feeling and yeah, all kind of specs that comes with this camera. I used it for nearly everything, mainly for my portrait photography but also car photography, landscapes, travel pictures, product shots and even for client work in the videography. And also for all my YouTube videos. And along the way I can confirm the Sony a7 II is a beast when it comes to price performance. It is probably the best go-to camera when you want to enter the full frame market for under 1000 euro. But also along the way I figured out the one major issue with this camera. And with this, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good. And in case you didn't get it, today we're talking about this video autofocus from the Sony a7 II. Before we start with the tips that I want to tell you, I want to answer a question that I get asked a lot. If the Sony a7 II has a good autofocus for photography? The short answer, yes. I used this camera for only photography the first two years that I owned it and I had no issues at all. Like, the focus doing a really good job, also in burst mode with continuous autofocus, no problems at all. So if you're looking for a good photo camera or an awesome photo camera, the Sony a7 II is what you should go for. But over the last one and a half years, I also used this camera for videography and I can tell you it was a huge struggle when it comes to autofocusing with the Sony a7 II and not knowing how to deal with it. But over the time, I figured out how to use this camera properly and the autofocus from this camera. And this is why I want to tell you my five most valuable tips on how to use this autofocus from the Sony a7 II. And the good thing is that these tips also help you in general to get more cinematic videos. So let's start with the first one. Light is probably the most important thing when it comes to videography or also photography. And it can make a huge difference from your pictures and also from your videos and take it from a beginner to a pro. But also your camera will thank you if you check the lighting situation before you start recording. And yeah, normally it shouldn't be a problem for any cameras, but the Sony a7 II is no master when it comes to video autofocus. So just keep in mind to check your lighting situation before. And especially in two situations, I figured out major issues with the video autofocus, which is for the first backlight and for the second hush light. And while backlight can look awesome in some situations, I mainly want to avoid hush light. Just doesn't look good, in my opinion. So what should you do when you're shooting midday and still need to capture the footage? Most of the time it helps you when you're looking for more shadow in your location and, or maybe just switch your location to something where you have more shadow available. And it might sound a little bit weird because you want to get that good lighting, but most of the time I figured out that this is awesome. And when I went out with Claire to capture some examples, for this video here, we found an awesome spot and I just want to show you some examples that we got there. So checking your light situation will save you a lot of headache and also gives you some awesome results. And now continuing with the second point. Talking about focus areas, most of the time I only use the wide focus range and I have to admit it worked pretty well for me, but in some situations it 100% makes sense to just switch into a single point focus area or also the field focus area. Imagine you have a subject just walking straight to the camera and don't move into the left or right frame from the shot. In this way you can keep the focus in the middle on the subject and your camera does not have to figure out where the focus should be 
in the wide frame of the shot and it's more easy for the camera to keep the focus. And using the focus fields can be really helpful when you want to switch the focus from something in between the shot. I, for example, used it in the shot where Claire walked in front of the Arc de Triomphe and I want to first focus on the Arc de Triomphe and then on Claire when she's walking into the area where I put the focus field on. I have to admit that the Sony a7 II doesn't really make a good job on that because the focus is not working really fast and this is why it was kind of hard to get this shot right and we had to do it several times until I was at least happy with the result but it was not 100% perfect because the focus on the Arc de Triomphe in the beginning is not really there. <laughs> But still, I think it turned out very cool. And this can mix up your footage from time to time. So consider to just maybe switch the focus into the field or also the single focus point. Something you should definitely focus on are your camera movements. And this not only makes a huge difference when it comes to keeping the focus with the Sony a7 II, but also in general when it comes to making cinematic footage or video with any camera. So you should really practice it over and over again to really get the movements into your muscles kind of and into your mind because this is making such a difference and you really want to focus on that. And I can tell you, I knew about these cinematic camera movements in the beginning when I filmed the first videos but I just didn't practice it before and then the videos looked something like this. But with just some practice you can achieve much better results. And also slower movements are very helpful when it comes to keeping the focus from the Sony a7 II because it is not the fastest. And also when the focus needs to work a lot, so for example when the subject is moving towards the camera, it's more likely that you will miss the focus because yeah, the focus is just not the best. So you should consider to just switch up the scene, for example not walking straight to the camera but walking with the camera and moving with the subject and keeping the same distance to the subject what you're filming because then the focus is set to the subject and it's not moving around so it's more likely to keep the focus and this will keep you a lot of headache and also giving you some more cinematic videography. The next tip is to get wide shots because it's pretty obvious when you have a close-up and you lose the focus. And you might have seen it in some of my videos or you maybe didn't, but fact is when you zoom in you can see that in some of my shots I don't have the focus on the subject or maybe on me when I introduce a new scene and want to show the surrounding. But that is not a huge mistake or at least it doesn't make a huge difference because you are not noticing directly. So it would definitely be a bigger mistake when you're missing this focus for a huge client. But when you're filming a project for a huge client, the Sony a7 II is probably not what you're going for. And I also really like this technique to just introduce a new scene when I have, for example, in a vlog a new b-roll and show the surrounding where I am right now. And you can just mix it up with some wide shots, some detail shots and then yeah, I think this is a pretty cinematic one. And last but not least, talking about manual focus. And maybe you don't want to hear it, but it's so easy and the Sony a7 II does have focus peaking, what makes it so much more easy. And you definitely should consider it if you're going to take some b-roll scenes, for example in the apartment, just taking away something from a place or putting something into a place or just sitting somewhere and I don't know what. There are so many different examples that you can use with the manual focus and which are so easy. And this also saves you a lot of headache when you're focusing with the continuous out of focus and then making the scene that you want to film and then we watch your video and see ah, you missed the focus and you have to redo it all the time. So just set up your camera on a tripod, focus on the thing that you want to capture and then film the scene and you're good. It's a one take. Easy.
And what you also should keep in mind is that the autofocus works differently from lens to lens. I can only talk about the Tamron 28 to 75 mm and the Sony 50 mm prime lens with the 1.8 aperture and I can definitely say the Tem1 wins this game. I did a video about that and you can check it out here if you're interested in that. And many people say that you should focus on Sony lenses, but I guess they are talking about G Master lenses, for example, because they are more compatible with the camera from Sony and the focus works better, but I have no issues with this Tem1 lens. So with these tips, I mainly can capture every scene that I want to capture. And yeah, sometimes it's kind of a headache to get the scene as I want it to have because I rewatch it, what I filmed, and then I see I missed the focus and I have to redo it. But this is what it takes. And this is a camera for under 1000 euros at the meantime. And this is just awesome. And all the other specs are just great. And I guess with these tips, you can still get a lot out of this camera. And now one and a half years after using this camera for videography, I kind of feel that I got the most out of it and kind of really learned the basics in the videography game, which is why I'm going to make the upgrade to the Sony a7 III. And if you're curious about the differences from the Sony a7 II and the Sony a7 III, you definitely want to make sure to subscribe to my channel because I am going to review these cameras in depth in the real world. I'm not kind of the specs guy and I prefer to show you real examples how the images can look like with these cameras and I'm so hyped to share more videos about this topic and I'm also super excited to get this camera. It's like my biggest wish from the last three years when I started photography and yeah right now I just feel like it's the right moment to make finally the upgrade. And with this said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And if you did it, I'll see you guys on next Sunday. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.